There was a rapper by the name of Trouble. Yes, his name is Trouble. Um, you know, your names, you know, can follow you. And unfortunately, Trouble got into some major trouble. Um, he is an Atlanta rapper and he was fooling with this particular woman. This woman was in a relationship with her ex uh, for about three years. They had just broke up maybe about a week prior uh, to this happening and trouble was at this woman's house. Uh, Jamichael broke in, you know, being a simp about the situation and he ended up killing trouble. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Here's video from overnight of 33-year-old Jamichael Jones in handcuffs wearing a hoodie at the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office. Deputies put him in a patrol car and booked him on murder charges and the death of 34-year-old Atlanta rap artist Trouble, whose real name is Mariel Orr. We feel strongly that he's our man. Sheriff Eric Levitt said it was the suspect's mom who convinced her son to give up. His mother was a huge resource in, in helping us um, apprehend him. Um, nobody wakes up in the morning wanting a bad outcome. Investigators said Jones surrendered in the parking lot of a Clayton County hospital. He was on the run accused of shooting the rap artist at the lakes at St. James Apartments in Conyers. It happened early Sunday morning. Mr. Morel Orr, which is the victim, was visiting a female friend at the um, complex. Um, and Mr. Jamichael Jones um, did know the female, and it was a domestic situation. The sheriff said he's facing a number of charges, including murder and home invasion. Fellas, let me say something to you. First and foremost, this is a, a classic when you are laying down with a woman going wrong. And the reason why I say this, when, when I was a single man, I never made a practice of just trying to lay down with a woman too quickly. Um, I'm a firm believer of what Tupac had said a long time ago that I don't want it if it's that easy. Um, I also understand that you don't want to lay down too quickly with females at, until you really vet them. Uh, Cause some of them during the vetting process, you can find out if they're crazy and you don't want a, a crazy female coming after you. Cause usually they come after you a lot quicker when you end up sleeping with them. Now you in your mind thinking, well, we just do, doing what we doing, but no, they, they were certified crazy. And if you'd have found that mess out before you laid down with them. Another thing you need to find out during the vetting process, you know, asking certain questions. Hey, when was your last relationship? You know, you know, and, and just through that question alone, it, they open up so many other questions that you can ask about the situation. But this, I just want to smash on this female trouble made another mistake by going to that female's house. You never go to a female's house where you're not in control of the situation. I'm not saying take her to your house either. Cause you, sometimes you may not want her to know where you stay, especially if you just met her. You definitely don't want to know where you stay. Um, and in his situation, you know, he was a known rapper out there in Atlanta and everything. So you definitely don't want to take it to that spot. So shoot, take it to, you know, the hotel or wherever, Airbnb. I don't know where you're going to take her, but don't take it to your house. Right. But at the same time, at the same, same time, I still don't advocate just laying down with randoms or females you just met or females you just seen on Instagram and you just, Ooh, you just got it. You just got to have her. Right. Because you don't know what's coming along with a lot of these females. A lot of these females be lying too at the same time. You know, they say, yeah, I, you know, me and my man broke up a week ago, X, Y, Z. And, you know, uh, uh, and then sometimes they tell you that they still be fooling with them. Oh, and you don't know about it. This dude, you know, be, you know, I, I broke up, but she's still sleeping with him. And then now she's fooling around with you and she's going to stop messing with him. Because the reason why that dude showed up like that, is because he been going to that house. You know, it's kind of like the situation with BMF. You remember the show BMF and, and Meech was coming out the house. Um, you know, with the character, you know, I forgot the character name, but played by the, by cash doll. Right. And remember after, after Meech get out the house, you know, from, from getting him some from old girl, Lamar sitting outside. And then as he tried to get inside his car, Lamar almost hit him. He said, Hey, stay away from my woman. Stay away from my family. I'm not going to tell you again. After he just came out of there smashing old girl. Now this female wasn't fooling with Lamar like that at all. But yet in his rabid mind, that was his woman. That's his family. Cause they got a kid X, Y, Z, right? 
You don't want to be dealing with the Lamars. And what trouble ran into is the Lamar situation. Literally. This dude came in there, kicked the door in. Um, they, they claimed he was fighting. Dude uh, got the gun, shot, you know, trouble in the chest. And that, that was the end of it, right? And we don't know if this female is going to cooperate, you know, with the police and say everything because she, she got a hand in something. The police are looking at them text messages. Police are looking at them Instagram DMs. They and look at Trouble's phone. All they're gonna find out the whole story. It's, it's just too easy today, you know. Uh, the social media and, and, and text message and all that make the police job very, very easy. But this is another senseless, you know, killing in our community and behind. Well, you know how many brothers have died in this manner. Now you got two black men gone. One six feet under. The other one going to get put in the jail cell. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And what this female going to be doing, fellas? Busting it wide open for another dude in Atlanta. While both of y'all gone behind her. Y'all brothers, y'all brothers, y'all brothers, y'all brothers. Y'all got to be careful with, 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 this, with this modern American woman. You got to be careful with her. Because they follow a certain code that was never followed even when I was growing up. See, see the females back in the day, I'm not saying they didn't do certain things either like that, but it's too socially acceptable today to get away with things like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so y'all fellas as out there dating, like I said, I don't envy any of y'all. I don't, um, you know, I'm a big believer of, um, the best way to deal with the modern American woman is to check out the process. And what I mean by that is, um, passport <laughs> and meet your woman overseas. That's what you can do. And because when they start seeing that big movement of men doing that and, and, and just checking out the process, um, maybe they'll get some act right, you know, but unfortunately we got brothers out here who will still fool a lot of these women. They will. Uh, and then you got the simps, like I say, you, y'all don't talk about that. Y'all talk about the, the Russell Wilson aspect of simping, but y'all don't talk about the other simps because it's different level of simping. Now simps can be extremely dangerous. They can be dangerous to the women. They can be dangerous to society. They could be, you know, the Elliot Roger, that kind of simp, right? That's that's a dangerous society. He went up there and and shot up the place. You know what I'm saying? Um, then you have dudes like this, you know, just just can't get over the fact that she ain't with him no more, and and he want to go do. Nah, man, it, it's just so senseless, so senseless. So fellas, be careful what you're fooling with out there. That's the only thing I can tell you, because um, like I said today, these, you know. The society. And like I said, trust me, I've been to other countries, fellas. When some of you think that all females are like this in this country and no, they're not in. No, they're not. I really wish. That's why I'm a big proponent of you brothers traveling. I want you brothers to travel and you see exactly what I'm talking about. Travel. That's it. I'm not telling you exactly where to go, but just travel. And you will see the difference of how different societies do not allow the foolishness from the men and the women. They won't even allow it. Cause like I said, then now the two, two sets of families and lost, lost they, they loved ones, period. You know, whether this one going to jail, the other one, and then the female, once again, like I said, she'll be busting it wide open for somebody else. Now, what did anybody gain from that?